Hey guys, Kim here. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel and helped me hit 1,000 subscribers, um, over 1,000 now, which is completely amazing. The entire acrylic pouring community here on YouTube has definitely surpassed my expectations in terms of kindness and positivity, so thank you for joining me and thank you for being you. And now, on to my epic fail of a pour today. So, you're going to see here, normally I have my Floetrol in a squeeze bottle, just like this one. Um, so that's white paint. I had a little bit left, and I figured I would use it for this pour. Um, I actually did a traveling ring pour with these exact colors, one of the first videos I ever did, and I'll link that above. And I wanted to do just a regular tree ring pour and spin it out with these colors because I love it so much. So what you're going to see here after I'm done pouring the yellow in the cup is um, you're going to see a second squeeze bottle enter the frame. And that is not white paint. That is my Floetrol. So, yeah. That, uh, that's what ends up going in the cup here. So that's uh, par for the course for me. And, you know, I realized it. There we go. I realized it after I poured it in that I didn't know why I had two squeeze bottles. Um, but yeah, and you'll see here that my freaking smart self, I didn't even move it out of the way. Um, I haven't figured it out yet, but I figured out about now when I go to grab the next squeeze bottle and I don't even move it away from me. So you'll see me bumble around here a couple times and I almost put Floetrol in again <laughs> instead of the paint. So, and then you'll see when I actually do the pour that I'm painting over um, a pearl pour that I previously did. And I didn't realize I had already taken the thumbtacks or the um, pins out of the back. And so I had nothing to set it on. So this is, it was just a good one overall. But um, yeah, overall, uh, I think it, it turned out okay still. Uh, stay tuned till the end. I show you guys the wet and the dry results too. If you want to see what putting straight Floetrol in your painting will do. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Got uh, a lot more stuff coming up. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It's very much appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up for me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.